Hey Arena, how's your first week at college going? Is everything going well? You have no idea how much your mommy has been worrying about you. It's fine, mom. I'm still trying to get the hang of things in this new environment, and everything feels kind of strange right now. But don't worry, I'll get used to college life eventually. Just give me some time to settle in. See? I knew you'd love going to medical college, just like your dad did back in the day. It's so cool that you're following in his footsteps. Are you super excited about it? Um, well, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure. Medical stuff isn't really my thing, you know? Hey, come on now. Don't give me that attitude, young lady. You know you're doing this for me and your dad, right? Remember what he wrote in his will before he passed away? So tell me, what exactly did your dear father say in his will before he left this world? Well, he said that one of his biggest wishes for me was to go to the same college as him, which is Phoenix Medical Academy. That's why I applied there, just like he wanted me to. But mom, you know medical isn't really my thing, right? My true passion is ballet dancing. That's where my heart lies. What? Your father is no longer with us and you're still focused on your selfish desires? Are you seriously considering going against his will? Do you honestly think he could ever rest in peace knowing his one and only daughter is disregarding his final wish? Arena, I am profoundly disappointed in you. It's becoming clear that you don't care about your father at all. Not even a little bit. Well, I'm not saying I'm gonna outright defy his will or anything, but the thing is, I'm only doing this because dad mentioned it in his will. But I gotta be honest, I'm not exactly happy about it, you know? That's my girl. It's such a shame that your father passed away so suddenly. If only he were still here, he'd be helping me shape you into an even better person. But hey, now it's up to me to take on the responsibility of raising you right. It might be a tough job, but as a loving and caring mother, I'm confident I can handle it just fine. Oh, and here's one more thing. Now that you're in college, I want you to cut ties with all your friends, family, and everyone you know. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Why should I cut ties with everyone I know just because I'm going to college? Honestly, it sounds kind of weird if you really think about it. What? Are you trying to say that your mommy is weird? That's totally unacceptable, lady. Listen, all I want is the best for you, you know? College isn't a piece of cake. If you don't focus on your studies, you might end up with bad grades. Or even worse, you could get kicked out. That's why I don't want any distractions for you. I want you to concentrate on your studies so you can graduate and start your career ahead of your college buddies. But mom, it's just not fair to ask me to cut off ties with my friends and family. I believe I can manage college just fine while still staying connected with them. Plus, I really need my friends and family right now, especially during this tough time. You know, dad's passing is still fresh and I'm struggling to move on from it. Their support means a lot to me. But why do you need anyone else when you already have me, your dear old mother? I'm more than willing to be your biggest supporter, your best friend, and someone you can always count on. Oh, okay. Thanks, mom. I really appreciate it. By the way, I'm really glad you finally broke up with Thomas. It was the right thing to do. And I'm proud of you for making that step. That's what an obedient daughter should do. I'm so proud of you. Wait, how do you know about that? Who told you that Thomas and I had already broken up? What? Please don't tell me that's not true. If it's not, mommy would be really, really upset. Well, yeah, it's actually true. A few days ago, out of nowhere, he texted me saying he wanted to break up. He said he couldn't stand me anymore and didn't want to see my face again. And just like that, he blocked me without even saying a proper goodbye. Honestly, it was a total shock because I have no idea what I did wrong. Oh, sweetheart. I'm so sorry to hear that. It sounds really, really heartbreaking. I hate to say that I told you so, but I did warn you about Thomas being a jerk and you didn't listen to my advice. I wish there was something I could do to help you through this, but you know that love can't be forced, right? If he's saying he hates you and doesn't want to be with you anymore, then there's really no reason for you to hold on to him any longer, right? Well, I guess so, but something still feels off. Maybe I should meet up with him and have a face-to-face -face conversation. No, you're absolutely not allowed to do that, Irina. Remember, you're a young woman 
and you need to uphold your self-worth. If you keep running after guys like that, they'll think less of you. They'll see you as nothing more than some desperate girl with no self-respect. That's why it's important for you to listen to me and not question what I say, okay? But mom, I still can't shake off this feeling that something is off. I mean, there's no way Thomas would break up with me like that through texts. Honestly, I can't think of anything I did that could have possibly offended him or made him upset in any way. It's just really confusing, mom, to be honest. I don't want to make you sad, but the other day I saw Thomas walking alongside another girl, and I have to admit, she was quite attractive. Let's face it, sweetheart. It's possible he's already moved on and forgotten about you. To him, you might have been just another temporary thing, easily replaceable. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyways, let's leave the past behind us and focus on a brighter future, okay? I promise you, your dear old mom will always be here to watch over you and support you no matter what. Arena, how many times do I have to say it? No more ballet dancing. Remember all the sacrifices I've made for you to get into this medical college? You better study diligently or else I'll make you live in the basement. Mom, why are you saying these things? Why can't I pursue ballet dancing? I don't skip my classes to do ballet, you know. I still attend all my classes and my grades are good. I don't see any reason why I can't continue doing ballet. It's just not fair. Ballet dancing is my passion, and I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can. This is the real world, not some fantasy land, and the real world can be tough, honey. Tell me honestly, what kind of joke are you trying to pull here? Do you seriously think you can have a future with that silly brainless passion of yours? No way. If you keep holding on to it, it's only going to distract you from your studies, and sooner or later, you'll end up struggling financially with nothing to eat and nowhere to go. Can't you see? I'm saying all this for your own good, out of my genuine concern as your mother. Honestly, you should be grateful for having a caring and loving mother like me. How can you claim to be a kind mother when all you do is try to control every aspect of my life? Whenever I express my opinion, you either dismiss it, make fun of me, or get angry with me. Whenever I do something that goes against your wishes, you resort to physical punishment, starvation, or locking me up in my room. Tell me, are these the actions of a good mother towards her daughter? You just don't understand, Arena. Everything I do, I do it for your own good and future. I'm simply trying to fulfill your dad's final wish before he passed away. Trust me, when you grow up and become an adult, you'll look back and appreciate everything I've done for you. I already know the truth. Thomas didn't just break up with me on his own. You forced him to do it. You pressured him, telling him that if he didn't break up with me, you would make my life unbearable. That's why he had no choice but to end our relationship. What you did is plain cruelty, mom. What? After all the years I've dedicated to raising you, after all the sacrifices I've made, this is how you repay me? By talking back and being disrespectful? What a disappointment you are as a daughter. I've always wished for a sweet and obedient daughter, but what do I get instead? A rebellious daughter who constantly disobeys her mother. All my life, I've tried to be a good and kind person. I've never even harmed a fly or damaged a flower. I've always tried to accumulate good deeds. But dear Lord, why am I still so unlucky? Mom, seriously? I'm tired of this drama. It's Sunday and I'm going out with my friends. You can go ahead and eat without me because I won't be back before 9 p.m. What? How dare you go out without asking for my permission? Who do you think you are in this house, huh? I know you're not going out with friends. You're just sneaking out to do ballet dancing, aren't you? Arena, I'm warning you. Don't you dare take a single step outside the house or else there will be serious consequences. Arena, are you there? Don't ignore me. Mom, where are you? Do you have any idea what happened in my room? Why is it such a mess? Oh my God, my ballet dress and shoes. What did you do to them? Don't put the blame on me, sweetheart. I already told you yesterday, you weren't allowed to leave the house, but you went against my orders and did it anyway. 
So I had to remind you of the rules in this house, starting with burning those dresses and ballet shoes to ashes. Trust me, one day you'll appreciate all the things I'm doing for you. What? How could you just barge into my room, take my belongings and burn them like that? Who gave you the right to do that? Do you seriously think I need to justify my actions? I'm your mother, the one who runs this house, so I can do whatever I please and whatever I believe is right. Did you conveniently forget who pays for the food you eat and the clothes you wear every single day? It's none other than your loving mother. So don't even try to disobey me because you're the one who always faces the repercussions. Now be a good little obedient daughter and let go of your silly dreams of becoming a ballet dancer. Instead, concentrate on becoming a skilled doctor, just like your dad, got it? No, I've said it a million times already. I don't want to become a doctor and I don't want to follow in dad's footsteps. My one and only passion is ballet dancing and there's nothing you can do to make me give up on it. I'm only going to this medical college because it's what dad wanted. But once I graduate, I'm going to pursue my own dream. Why are you so stubborn, Arena? Are you possessed or something? You weren't like this when you were younger. You used to be adorable and obedient, always listening to whatever I said. But now, when I think about you, all I see is a selfish little brat who only thinks about herself. You know what? I've made up my mind. From now on, I'm gonna keep a close eye on you 24 seven. No more sweet and caring mom. I'm gonna be tougher in raising you. What are you even talking about? What are you planning to do? What's so difficult to comprehend? It means I'll be monitoring your every move. I'll be the one deciding if you're allowed to leave this house or not. I'll create a strict schedule to ensure you make the most of your time studying during the day. No friends, no computer, and definitely no sneaking out for your dumb ballet dancing. Look, I've even prepared an extensive list of do's and don'ts just for you. And if you're foolish enough to do something you're not supposed to do, rest assured, I'll make sure you face the consequences. What? The things you just said are ridiculous and over-controlling. You can't do that to me. Can you try to think reasonably for once? Everything I've done has been to help you become the best version of yourself. All my efforts are aimed at helping you to focus on your studies so you can excel in medical college and become a successful doctor, just like your father. Isn't that amazing? Being a doctor is a dream for many, but not everyone has the genes and talent that you've inherited from your father. Once you become a doctor, you'll have a prosperous future and earn a good income, benefiting both yourself and me. Isn't that wonderful, my dear? Stop trying to dismiss your abusive behavior as if it's for my own good. The reality is you've never really cared about me. All you care about is yourself and no one else. Ultimately, you only want me to become a doctor so that I can make a lot of money for you, right? In the end, I'm just a pawn in your game. A mere tool for you to make money. What on earth are you going on about? Have you completely lost it? Let me remind you that without me, you wouldn't even exist. Got it? Now, listen carefully and concentrate on building your career as a doctor. If you behave properly, I promise I'll always be a good and loving mom to you. Can't you feel the immense motherly love I have for you? However, if you misbehave and try to defy my instructions, I won't hesitate to make your life unbearable. Trust me, your mama is dead serious. Irina, you're supposed to be right here, locked up in this small dog cage in the basement as part of your punishment. But where are you now? Answer me. Where did you run off to, you sneaky little troublemaker? Come back here to your mama immediately. No way, Abigail. I've already left, and I'm never coming back. You've been nothing but a horrible mother to me, and I've had more than enough. I don't want to live with you anymore. Horrible mother? I can't believe you'd say that. What on earth are you talking about? Don't you remember? Everything I do, I do it for your own good. Every action I take is driven by my deep and genuine love for you. What? You think what you did is an act of love? You hit me in the back of my head, causing me to lose consciousness. And then you locked me up in a dog cage. Are you even human anymore? Quit trying to disguise your abuse as motherly love because it honestly disgusts me. Tell me, 
How did you manage to escape from that dog cage and get out of the basement? I demand an answer. Spill it out right now. Did you deceive me or pull off some sneaky move behind my back? It's not exactly rocket science, you know. I just took the key to the dog cage when you weren't paying attention. Then I used some old clothes to make a makeshift rope and escape through the basement window. Wait a minute. When did you do that? Hold on. Don't tell me. You played a trick on me. You made it seem like you wanted to give me a hug. But all along you took advantage of that moment when I wasn't paying attention to snatch the key from me. I genuinely thought you loved me and wanted to reconcile. Was that all a lie? Are you kidding me? Love you? How could I even fathom such a thing? You're nothing but a freak and a monster. All I've ever wanted is to escape from you as quickly as possible. What on earth are you talking about? I'm a wonderful mother. Everything I've done has been for your own good. All I want is for you to have a brighter future. Is there anything so terribly wrong with that? You physically attacked me and forced me to live in a dog cage in the basement, barely even feeding me. Do you honestly believe that's something a good mother would do? Absolutely not. It's the kind of behavior that only criminals would engage in. It's all part of your punishment because you refused to listen to me. You snuck out to do ballet once again, and that's completely unacceptable. You're well aware that mommy detests it, yet you still went ahead and did it. So it's you who's in the wrong here, not me. Stop portraying me as some kind of wicked creature when all I've ever wanted is to protect my one and only precious daughter. I'm not some monstrous figure, you know. All I've ever wanted is your happiness. Can't you grasp that? It's my unwavering motherly love for you shining through. No, it's not love. It's torment. You constantly claim to love and care for me, but it's the complete opposite. All you've done is control me and attempt to make me obedient to your every command. It's not love. It's abuse and possessiveness. I'm going to report you to the police for what you've done to me. What? You're actually considering reporting me to the police. Why would you even think of doing such a thing? What exactly are you planning to tell them? That I should be punished for being a caring mother who thinks about your future? That's absolutely ridiculous. Listen, come back here right now and I might consider sparing you from the consequences. Let's sit down and have a calm, rational conversation like two mature adults. I promise I won't harbor any hatred towards you or do anything harmful. You have no idea how much love and longing mommy has for you. Please, just come back. No, leave me alone, you monster. I don't wanna talk to you anymore. Honestly, you make me sick. I'm gonna report you to the police and make sure they arrest you. You're going to pay for all the abuse you've put me through this time. What in the world are you going on about, Irina? How can you say I'm abusing you? All I've been doing is looking out for you and your future. Enough with your lies and deceit, Abigail. I've already uncovered the truth. Dad never mentioned anything about wanting me to go to the same medical college he did. It was all a fabrication that you came up with. What in the world are you blabbering about? You've seen his will, haven't you? He made that wish abundantly clear in there. So why are you so suddenly questioning it? No way. He never mentioned anything like that. You created a fake version of his will and added that yourself. I've already talked to the attorney who helped dad write his will and I got my hands on the real deal. What? How could you do something like that behind my back? You sneaky little brat. But it's hard to believe. He would never betray me like that. Well, here's something you might not be aware of. A while back, I actually hired a detective to look into both you and the attorney. After a thorough investigation, my private detective gathered enough evidence to accuse the attorney of assisting you in forging a legal document, Dad's will. Oh, and here's an interesting tidbit. That attorney happens to be not only your accomplice, but also your lover. Am I hitting the mark, Mother? Enough with this nonsense. Come back here to Mommy right now. My patience is wearing really thin. No way. And guess what else I discovered? In Dad's genuine will, it clearly states that you're entitled to only one fifth of his inheritance, not the whole thing like you've been claiming. Well, I bet you and your lover are just dying to be together officially, huh? Don't fret though. I'll make sure both you and your little companion reunite behind bars. 
The police are already on their way to arrest both of you. Justice is on its way, and there's no escaping it. No, seriously, Irina. What's all this talk about putting your own mom in prison? You wouldn't actually do that, would you? It just feels so wrong. Completely wrong. Listen, Irina, why don't you just come back to your dear old mama so we can sort things out together? There's really no need to bring the police into this, right? Irina, are you still there? Are you even listening to me? Irina! Abigail made a desperate attempt to escape, but the police arrived just in time to apprehend her. Shortly after, her lover was also arrested. The compelling evidence collected by the private detective I hired proved to be more than sufficient to secure the imprisonment of both Abigail and her partner. Furthermore, Abigail was required to forfeit the entire inheritance she received from my dad as compensation for the emotional and physical harm she inflicted upon me. With her incarceration, I made the decision to sell the house I inherited from my dad and started fresh in a new place, leaving behind the painful memories of living with my mother. I carried with me cherished mementos that reminded me of my dad as I settled into a small yet delightful apartment, a perfect setting for beginning a new chapter in my life. Among my dad's possessions, I discovered heartfelt letters he wrote to me during my childhood. In those letters, he expressed his greatest wish for my happiness, regardless of what challenges I may face. I find solace in knowing that he can rest in peace, confident that I derive immense joy from pursuing my career as a ballet dancer.